Hey peeps, Tyler here with Recent Reads number 8. The first book I have to mention is Revenge of the Living Dummy by R.L. Stein. Sorry for the ring light glare. I don't really remember much about this. It's a short story, even shorter than the usual Goosebumps. Because at the end, you have this thing that's like part of a story that goes through all the Horrorland books. So, I didn't actually read that part. But it's about Brittany Crosby thinks her cousin Ethan is pretty weird and she happens to be right. Brittany Crosby thinks her cousin Ethan is pretty weird and she happens to be right. Ethan won't stop tormenting Brittany with an old ventriloquist dummy and the puppet has plans for Brittany too. It was very predictable but also like it's a Goosebumps Horrorland book. I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars but it's apparently very forgettable because I don't remember it now. But at four stars, it was apparently a fun Goosebumps book. <laughs> the next book I don't have to show because I read it via Libby. That is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. It is the second book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So I'm not going to spoil anything. I loved the first book. I gave the first book five stars. I mean, earlier was probably more of like a four and a half, but I just freaking loved the ending and I gave it five stars because like, whatever. But this one I loved even more. So it's like, can I give it more than five stars? The amount of mental health representation, PTSD, like, oh my god, it hit so hard, so personally, to me. Somebody who has PTSD, like how it talks about colors. That's something I never saw mentioned before in PTSD rep that affects me. Because I was in a house fire in 2012. And ever since then, I was rescued by my neighbor in the nick of time. But, because it was in the middle of the day and I had been asleep and I was trapped. But... Ever since then, like, the color's red and black. Especially red. Sometimes, like, orange. Have gotten to me. Better now than I used to be because it has been eight years. But, of course, I still have PTSD. I recently had a fucking panic attack over it. So I have panic attacks less often than I used to, but they still happen, and they probably always will. And then there's also stuff about, like, domestic abuse... Like I said, I don't want to spoil anything, but that also hit really, really hard for me. Because, again, I've been there. And stuff was just so on point for me. You get to learn more about the characters. More about different characters. I absolutely... Either love the characters or love to hate them, depending on who they are. <gasps> I'm drawing the plot and the world, and it's just... I can't explain how much the mental health threat means to me. Farrah's character arc, I already loved her, but now I'm just loving her more and more. I end up relating a lot to her. It gave me so many emotions and feels. It brought up a lot of memories. I love learning about the characters, their histories, their personalities. So of course I gave this book another five stars. And 
hopefully by the end of the year, we'll see what happens, but hopefully by the end of the year I can get A Court of Wings and Ruin, but either way I'm continuing this series. <gasps> Hopefully the fact that I just woke up isn't too obvious. <gasps> and the last one I have to talk about, okay, just making sure I'm recording, is The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, the definitive edition. Which of course is like, it's a classic. I know a lot of people read it in school. I don't think I ever did. There's a lot of books that people read in school that for some reason I never did. Anne Frank's extraordinary diary written in the Amsterdam attic where she and her family hid from the Nazis for two years has become a world classic and a timeless testament to the human spirit. Now in a new edition enriched by many passages originally withheld by her father, we meet an Anne more real, more human, and more vital than ever. Here she is first and foremost a teenage girl, stubbornly honest, touchingly vulnerable, in love with life. She imparts her deeply secret world of soul-searching and hungering for affection, rebellious clashes with her mother, romance and newly discovered sexuality and wry, candid observations of her companions, facing hunger, fear of discovery and death, and the petty frustrations of such confined quarters, Anne writes with adult wisdom and views beyond her years. Her story is that of every teenager lived out in conditions few teenagers have ever known. This is heartbreaking. You can see she writes this over the course of like two years. From 13 to 15. And you can see her growth. And... It's heartbreaking. That's the only word I can really find for it. And obviously that doesn't do it justice. Nothing will. She is, of course, very much a teenager. But then, like it says, adult wisdom beyond her years. She grows up way too fast, and then her life is taking way too young. Because of anti-Semitism. Fucking Nazis and... There's so much in here that I was like, oh my god, and oh, I think people could learn from Anne Frank as well as it's something we shouldn't forget happened, the Holocaust, and it wasn't really that long ago. I mean, I was struck by the fact she was born four years after my granny. My granny just died this year, in her 90s. If Anne Frank had still been alive, she would have been a little bit younger than my granny. This happened just a couple of years before my grandparents were born. They're about 70. It wasn't that long ago. And people... Not everybody, obviously. But some people want to think it was so long ago or forget that it happened. And it's like, it wasn't that long ago and we can't forget that it happened because if we do, we're bound to fucking repeat it. So it's very timely. It's very heartbreaking, emotional. I gave it five stars. I, it's a very important classic for a reason. I've been wanting to read it. And this month is nonfiction November, so I also picked it up for that. But I had been wanting to read it. It was also on my 40 books to read before I turned 40 list. Because I'm still working my way through that. So. <gasps> what have you read recently have you read any of these let me know your thoughts down below like comment share subscribe hit the bell whatever you want to do anything is greatly appreciated thank you for watching 
and my social media is in the description and have a nice day.